Texans rely heavily on rivers for drinking water and recreation. The loss of freshwater mussels could be an early indicator of things to come for, for humans that consume that resource. Freshwater mussels are important indicators of ecological health. Their decline perhaps indicates that things are changing in the rivers. There's uh, 52 mussel species in the state. 15 of them are listed as state threatened by Texas Parks and Wildlife. 12 are currently being reviewed for listing under the Endangered Species Act. So there's kind of four main research focuses that we have here at the Dallas Center. One is to do field surveys. And so the objective of those projects are basically to determine the status and distribution of endangered mussels. Another project is basically to determine species identities and genetic diversity. Are the species that we're concerned with real or valid? What is the genetic diversity within populations of those threatened species? A third project is looking at host fish for some of the rare mussels. Are these mussels limited because their host fish is no longer present throughout the landscape? Our final project is to look at the thermal tolerances and salinity tolerances of several threatened mussel species within the state. And that information will be used by Parks and Wildlife, Fish and Wildlife Service, potentially TCQ, to better manage water quality so that these animals can persist in the future.